Huawei is gearing up for the launch of the Mate 80 series. And if these leaks are true, we might be looking at one of the most advanced and most premium smartphones of the year. Let's start with performance. According to well-known leaker digital chat station, Huawei is working on something we've never seen in a mainstream flagship. A built-in active cooling system. Yes, an actual mini-cooling fan inside the phone. This fan, paired with a custom air duct, will keep the processor, and even the camera modules, cool during heavy use. And don't worry about water resistance. Huawei's design reportedly keeps the airflow path completely sealed from the internals, blocking both dust and water. Combine that with a large silicon carbon battery, and we could see a huge boost in sustained performance. Perfect for gaming, 4K video recording, and long photography sessions without overheating. Now, let's talk about the most premium model, the Mate 80 RS. Rumor has it, it's getting a massive 6.9-inch dual-layer OLED display, the same next-gen tech we saw on last year's Mate 70 RS. So what's dual-layer OLED? It's exactly what it sounds like, two OLED panels stacked together. The result? Higher brightness, lower power use, and a longer screen life. It's so advanced, and so expensive to make, that even Apple is rumored to be working on it for future iPhones. But Huawei isn't stopping at the display. The Mate 80 RS prototype is said to feature a titanium alloy middle frame for extreme durability and a ceramic textured glass back that feels like smooth jade, but stays lighter than actual ceramic. And of course, cameras. Expect a 50 megapixel main shooter with a 1 by 1.28 inch sensor, roughly the same size as the iPhone 16 Pros, with 1.2 micron pixels and advanced processing. It's not the huge 1-inch sensor from Huawei's Pura 80 Ultra, but it's still going to pack flagship-level image quality. The Mate 80 series is rumored to launch in October 2025. And if all of this is true, Huawei might be setting a brand new standard for premium smartphones. So, what do you think? Is this the future of flagship phones, or just flashy tech for bragging rights? Drop your thoughts below.